Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Coin Stories. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the uh, 1973 uh, RCMP uh, quarter. Uh, you can see on the obverse side, it has uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, died him. And on this side, on the reverse, you have... Uh, the words Canada. I actually have my a new pointing stick here. Uh, you see the word Canada up at the top, 25 cents, uh, with a RCMP officer on his horse, a uh, little maple leaf, and the dates uh, 19 or 1879, sorry, 1873 and 1973. I think I said 1976, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, um, so this is commemorating 100 years of the RCMP, so we're going to get into a little bit of a uh, backstory of the RCMP. So this coin was actually not part of a collection, so it was uh, not like, it, this is the only, it was just a quarter that was made for this. Uh, there's two variations of this quarter. There might be more, actually. Uh, one with a large bust, one with a small bust of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, you can see er, ways that you can tell that if you have the larger small bust, uh, the hair will be a little bit uh, more detailed, and the um, denticles up here will be actually so close they look like they're touching the outer rim. Large busts are much more rare and go for a lot of money. So check your change and uh, see if you have any of uh, the large bust varieties. So I'm going to try to make this one, this episode, a little bit more interesting than the last one. I'm going to put up some pictures. I don't know if I'll put up video because um, you can get into some legal trouble with that or copyright issues. Um, so I'll tell the story of the RCMP, a little bit of the backstory of what it's actually uh, commemorating. So the story of the RCMP uh, followed shortly after uh, Confederation, which the last episode was about, uh, in 1867. Uh, so as each new province joined Canada, it would have its own police force. Uh, within its borders, uh, but uh, whenever the Northwest Territories joined Canada, uh, or sorry, whenever uh, Northwest Territories did not have a provincial status, it had to rely on the federal government for its policing. Um, at the time, the uh, Dominion Police were the uh, federal policing body and their main role was to guard uh, parliament buildings. Uh, since they were so small, they did not have uh, the size or the structure to police the Northwest Territories. Out of this, uh, the parliament passed uh, an act to create the N NWMP, which uh, is the Northwest Mounted Police, or Northwestern Mounted Police, I forget which one. So that act was pa was passed on May 23rd, 1873. So that was in May of 1873. Um, which, if you look here, if I can get get it out of the light, uh, right on the side, 1873 is the date that it's commemorating. So, uh, that was the, the beginning of the Northwest Mounted Police. Um, in 1904, uh, King Edward II, or seventh, sorry, not second, uh, awarded the title Royal to the uh, Northwest Mounted Police, officially creating, this is a mouthful, the Royal Northwest Mounted Police, or the RNWMP. Uh, Fifteen years later, in 1919, uh, 
Prime Minister Robert Borden met with the RNWMP, my gosh, uh, Commissioner uh, A.V. Perry, uh, where in the meeting, uh, Perry had proposed that a new policing system would come into effect where the uh, the uh, Royal North American, or sorry, the Royal Northwestern Mounted Police would police across Canada. And one year later, in 1920, uh, the new legislation came into effect where the uh, Royal Northwestern Mounted Police uh, would, <laughs> na its name would now be changed to the RCMP, which is the Royal, Com Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and that the Royal Canadian Mounted Police would now absorb the Dominion Police and take over policing in Canada. So that's the backstory of that. Um, some fun facts, as you can see, I changed my background to red. Um, the uniform that the uh, RCMP wear is pure red. Uh, I will throw up a picture here of the entire uniform. Um, they also uh, do this thing called the musical ride. I've been there uh, two times in my life and it's uh, pretty much a show, I guess. I, uh, I don't know the word for it. Uh, like they they ride around on on their horses to music that's performed and it's pretty fun it's it's a kind of a big event around here yeah so anyway this this coin is actually i'd say on my list of top 10 favorite coins I just enjoy the look of it. I enjoy the history behind the RCMP, and I uh, I just kind of enjoy. Uh, I have some family family that uh, or a family mem member who was in the RCMP, so kind of close close to home. All right, so that's it for this one. And I will see everybody in the next one. If you liked, or if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want more of uh, Canadian history in coin form, uh, then stay tuned. Uh, next episode, I believe, is the um, uh, provincial coins, which is a collection. So I'll be doing all of the provincial coins that I have. I'm not sure how many I'll have at that point in time. As of right now, I believe I have maybe 8 out of 13. So, anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.